going everyone? Just on my way to mate's place um, just to do a little update on the the boat build. Um, I've had a few few questions and comments and that just asking when the next update is so I thought he'd whip around and show you the trailer which is pretty much finished and he's starting to do the boat now as well. Uh, just sand prep and all that sort of stuff but anyway thanks for clicking on the vid. Um, hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, just a just a random vid with a little update. Cheers, thanks for watching. What do you reckon looks right, eh? Come up right. Oh, well, tell us a bit about it, Will. Well, second stage. Yeah, we're finally finally made some progress. It's taken a while, but um, now we've got all the paintwork done. Still yet a few things to fit out. A little bit of tape tape that's gone hard on that ladder. We've got to clean up, which is a bitch in the sun. Um, the water pump needs to still go in and I need to get a battery and wire out the winch because the winch needs oh, its own yeah. power source yeah. um, and the the Anderson will charge that that battery because this draws a fair bit of power not that I'm going to really use it because we'll just drive on anyway um, yeah. it's a, just a backup thing and also to actually secure it to the vehicle as well or to yeah. the trailer you know yeah. It's, yeah. it's literally like your chain and your winch isn't it oh yeah because you got the boat catching yeah, yeah, yeah the, they're hard for it eh? yeah it's pretty good Spare. Yeah, two, two spares. Spare wheels. It's got to get another hub. Another oh, yeah, disc so rotor. Hub and all up and everything, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll have a, a disc rotor on each side with your bearings all greased up, ready to go with your spare wheel. So if there's a spare wheel problem, change that out. If there's a fucking disc or hub issue, um, then you can just change that out straight away as well. Yeah, yep. Obviously, winch. The anodized ladder. What's the idea behind that? Um, just to make it easy getting in and out. Yeah. Um, all I need to do is reverse the trailer down, disengage the boat catch, throw the little rope for the boat catch into the trailer, into the boat, and then climb up the ladder, start her up, pull the cord, and reverse off. That's cool. So then you don't even have to go onto the pontoon and jump across, or you know, you can. I can do it all myself. Yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. Or it just makes it easier. You could be in the car, um, back down. I could jump up, and then I back off, and you drive off, yeah. and then you, you park up the car meet me at the pontoon so we're not holding other people up as well and, yeah. and yeah. it's just a smooth process oh yeah that's right here's your yeah, wiring in that yeah Let's I was talking a bit about that still yet to finish obviously the wiring in there it's a bit of a mess but that'll be a lot tidier yeah and then um got the switch panel here gotta put the fuse in there so wind switch water pump switch on off so water pump the water pump comes in bolts in here yeah and then there's a tap that comes out here. Yep. So then um, you, water goes into the chassis rails. Both yeah. chassis rails hold the 50 something litres, 53 litres of water, I think <laughs> it is. And then your yeah, outtake from the chassis rail water tank is here. Yep. Goes into this cavity and then comes through the water pump to the tap. Yep. So all you need to do is plug your um, plug your hose, hose fitting on there. Yep. And then um, yeah, run it under there so you don't scratch your paint and you can hose it all down. Rather than waiting, you see the line up at Lucinda. Yeah. On Friday, there was boats everywhere. We can yeah. just pull up next to it and just hose it down, and off we go. And I think your idea behind it was like you were saying: if you're going out for a few nights on your boat, you can hose your trailer off on your bloody launch, and yeah. it's not sitting there fucking covered, covered in salt for two or three nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and all the work and the time and the money I put in, I want to look after it. You yeah. know, I have gone a bit overboard. Some people would think, but yeah, I don't really give a shit because they did it for me. Yeah, and that's I'm, it. And I love it. I think it's great. There's yeah. a few things. I could have done it differently, but you know, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the. Um, yeah, talk about this, what you just said, that's awesome. Yeah, the jockey wheel, it was, it looked a bit shit on the trailer after painting, and I had to paint a couple of other parts, so I thought, well, I might as well just paint that at the same time. Mm. But the, the actual, the wheel, the actual rim on the wheel yeah. was red. Yeah. And that just looked look stupid with all the blue. Yeah. Um, and I was going to do it blue. Then I thought, no, nah, I may as well go charcoal, the same colour as the winch post, yeah. um, and the centre line of the trailer, so the rim will be charcoal. And then also, while I had it apart, I drilled a couple of holes up here in the stem, and then tapped in some threads and put some grease nipples in. Just one of those redundancy things that's easy, I can just grease it up whenever I want. I don't have to worry about um, pulling, pulling it apart and greasing it. And yeah. I did the same for the, well, I had done for the centre bolt for the, um, the leaf spring assembly yep. for the rocker. That centre bolt was a stainless bolt that we had um, drilled out through the centre and um, and then a hole drilled through the side of it. Um, then I put a grease nipple on there as well, tap that thread, put a grease nipple on, and then that's just, you know, another Unreal. practicality thing, I think. Unreal. 
what else? Well, um, that's about. That's the front end, anyway. Yeah, isn't that's it? that one end. Yeah. yeah. So if you can't tell, it's sort of kind of designed on a like your ski boat type thing, eh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just mad looking trailer, insane. Absolutely. There's a insane. couple of rivets, like got like two rivets that I was getting a bit carried away and going a bit fast, and a couple yep. of them popped up, so I've got to drill yep. those out and start again. But it's only uh, two. It's minor, isn't out it? of however many I put in, I think this flooring sets it off, eh? It does. It looks it really just, good. It. it yeah, <laughs> it looked good before, but yeah, no, you know, when you don't seal that sick. framework, you, yeah. you've got that floor, and it's going to be a stone protection thing as well. And That's it. That was part of it, but I just wanted something to look nice as well. Yeah, yep. And then if you need to walk up on it, you know, it's not mm. safe, and you're not going to slip off. And and talk about the stuff you use to coat it. Oh, that's a, a product called Nylac. It's a, an American product. Yep. And it's just literally a clear coat. You can roll it on or brush it on. Um, it's real trippy stuff, isn't it? Like you said, you put a bit on and it just like evenly out. spreads and yeah, levels. It's, it's yeah, it's a really good product. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, and I'm going to do a fair bit of it on the boat as well. Yeah, now that I've used it. Um, yeah, after doing all the paint work, the um, the silver and, and the charcoals of COB are clear over base, and it's a lot of fucking around. Anyone who's painted knows that. Yeah. Um, and once using that Nolak product, I, I loved it. Yeah, and it literally looks at, almost as silver as the silver paint anyway. Yeah, it does. Um, it but really literally, does. bloody ten times less work. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and material. So yeah, it's expensive shit though, isn't it? Yes. But when you compare it to painting, it's not kind of not, is it? No, yeah. not really. No. Yeah. You'd probably pay two grand for someone to paint yeah. the floor panels, maybe fifteen hundred. What is that? No, like it's like a thousand bucks a litre or something. No, no, it? like four hundred or something. Oh, like four hundred yeah, a litre. I forget. Yeah. yeah. I bought it ages ago. Yeah. But um, no, it's a good product, and, and I'm gonna use more of it. Yep. Yep. Which is a mean looking rig. A drive on trailer. Dual axle. Talk about the rims and all that. Yeah, they're just a a quick a quick option, you know. That yeah. um, I wanted something to look similar to what was on the Ranger. Yeah. But I couldn't get exactly the same. Yeah. And in the end, you know, it, they look very different now. If you to put them, if you look look at one and look at the other, they look different. But if you actually have the car hooked up together, they look real similar. Yeah. It looks you know, it, it, and they're only 16 inch rims as well and um and they were cheap too yeah, oh, yeah i can't remember how much it was i think the rims are 250 each or something or 200 each yeah. um and then some you know light truck tires yeah they're pretty cheap as well and, and especially when i was getting six of them so i wanted to save some money and yeah hey reg go and get out side lights yeah lights. We, we had to put the width light yeah. on top obviously yeah um you couldn't put it on over the side or yeah. you'd be oversized yeah because the width of the the widest part of the trailer is the mud guards and it's what was it 2475 millimeters so just under 2.5 yeah so yeah. if we're 2.5 or over we'd be oversized yeah um, okay. and that's yeah. you know why we had to do that yeah but it's neither here nor there it's not really going to matter yeah yeah and um oh we've got a full we'll c-deck this as well well not oh, c-deck deck, uh, deck armor is the brand yeah so over the top of the guards so and the side steps so there'll be where you walk on yeah, yeah 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 and it, and then you're not going to slip as well so you can step up on there um, you're not going to damage the paint and then you're not going to slip too. Yeah, yeah. Bloody eyes. It'll look really good, that'll be another finishing touch. The tail lights seem to be coming up really good, I was really happy about those. Nice, eh? Yeah. Real nice. I'd, I'd wanted them for a while and I bought them and, and I didn't, when I first bought them I didn't really think of the colour concept and them matching. Yeah. I just, that's one thing I got lucky. Yeah. I planned a lot of things well, but that one I got lucky and they look absolutely great with they the, um, the colour scheme that we've done. Bloody hell. And in the end, I was a bit worried at the start that this would be a bit low. Yep. Um, this number plate panel, when you're going over, like, because of the length. Yeah. Um, yep. Going for spoon drains and things like that, but you end up having heaps of clearance because your um, oh, rear axle's yeah. not far from it anyway. That's you right. Know? So yep. it was a concern, but ended up being nothing to worry about, which was a good thing. Yeah. More peace of mind. Good, yeah. No, that's about it. It's about where she's at at the moment. And yeah. Well, it's pretty much done. Like you said, you just got to wire up your bloody winch and your electric brakes, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Water and pump, um, water electric pump, winch, electric brakes. brakes. Yeah. And then I've got to mount those wheels, but you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nothing much really. I'm just trying to focus on getting the boat done now as well. Yeah. Because we may be putting it in the boat show. We're just trying to see if we can get a spot. If we can get yeah. four. What three, boat show is that? Uh, the. Um, it's one in August this year in Townsville. Yep. Um, 30, 30th of August to the 1st of September, I think it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, like a big boys' toys sort of thing, little boats, caravans, you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. and the boat builder mate of mine, Mark Zunker from ACB, he's trying to secure a lot there. Yeah. We're not sure if we're going to be able to get one because they're pretty booked out. Yeah. Um, but hopefully we can. 
and um, that's why I'm pumping pretty hard on the boat to try to get that done. Yeah. Um, yeah, then everyone can actually come and see it yeah. rather than seeing it here. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a chat about the boat? Or? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're getting there, just trying to sand, sand everything back and get it all ready for um, paint. Yeah. And um, it's a bit of an enduring task. It's, I underestimated it, to be honest. Yeah. I normally yeah. do, but yeah. it is what it is. Um, yeah. It's not something I haven't done before anyway, sanding things down. Being a panel beater, I've done a lot of that. Yeah. Um, but I've never really done, well, I've never done a boat. Yeah. But at least aluminium is a good product to work with. Yeah. You know, it's soft. Yeah. You know, it's not like some some other products like working with steel. You know, there's um, yeah, it's not not as fun, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just time consuming. All the little areas you got to sand it and get getting under all of the railings and around things that you can't like be sanitized. You know I can't touch it. that. Yeah. As soon as I touch that with the sand, I'm screwed. It's there forever. So yeah. I'll probably get some conduit or something and put some conduit around there. Yeah. And then I'll tape it all up. Yeah. Um, just to make sure I don't hit it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if I tape it up, then it's going to sit there in the sun. It's going to go hard like that ladder up the front on the trailer. Yeah. And then that tape is just impossible to tape off. Yeah. Yes. She's getting there though. She's yeah. getting there. Yeah. Pushed pretty hard yesterday. So got a fair bit done. And yeah. And um, hopefully I'll get some done today. But if for not, now you're sanding this all smooth and then nylacking it. Yep. Same exactly. as same as the finish on this. Yeah, be the same. So same you're not like in the, the sides, the gunnels. Yep. Uh, what else was it? Sides, transom. The gunnels, transom. Yeah. The roof and the floor and the roof. Yeah. Also the side sheets. Yeah. The inside of the side sheets with the seat pockets. Yeah. Will also be not like. Yeah. And I'll come down to the back here as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're painting the the, center, the seat and the center console, the charcoal. Yep. And that front seat box too. And the front seat box, and then that box up there, that's an electronic, that box is for the radios and the yeah, switch panels, yeah. so they'll be painted charcoal as yeah. well. And then the deck armour will go over the floor and gunnels. Floor gunnels and cast, cast deck. deck. And on the back of the transom there as yeah, well. Yeah, on the back of the transom. And obviously we'll do the trailer at the same we'll, time. We'll make another video. Yeah, once yeah. We we'll start decking out. They can roll out. Doing all the fit out. It'll be yeah. Hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be able to start getting serious on fitting it out. Yeah. Which will be bloody great. I just want to go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while now. Everyone's probably killing me saying, "What are you doing? Fucking finish your boat." Yeah. But um, it's one of those things. Yeah. Bloody hard. Works busy. Life's busy. Yes. But we've got to make this happen. We want to get on the water and and also promote Mark's boats too. Yeah. He does a great job. This boat's. He does. Eh? It's yeah. next level. Yeah. He's a bit of a guru. He knows yeah. His stuff. Yeah. And the the proof's in the pudding. Yeah. yeah, the work he puts out is it's next level. It's outstanding. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we'll leave it at that. Short, yeah. quick one, eh? Yeah, I, I might get like some close-ups with the other camera of just some of the stuff we talked about. And sweet. See yeah. you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers, boys.